What do you think? I'm gonna try Spam the first time ever on a cruise ship. Oh my gosh, seriously, you have Spam on your plate? I have Spam on my plate right here. Want to try some? No. First vlogger eating Spam on a cruise ship. Good morning, Sky Princess. Right beside us today in Costa Maya. Well, I found her. Good morning. <laughs> she came back to the cabin before I left. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, you already spoke into the camera, did you, without yeah, me? Yeah, I was showing them the Sky Princess outside, yeah. Yeah, there's quite a few other ships, too. You might want to go up and look at all the others. It's um, packed house. <laughs> yep, I always find it really odd, because I don't find a lot to do in Costa Maya, but there's thousands and thousands of people here on ships. So it's interesting. Uh, I'd love to know what everybody does. If you have an idea to do something in Costa Maya, let us know, because mm -hmm. we've, we've exhausted everything we could find. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, we are going to have probably a ship day in the morning. Mm -hmm. We're on duty, so we are on baby duty. We are watching families' babies. We have our grandchild <laughs> with us right now, so we told our children go off and spend the morning exploring, see what you want to do, and we'll keep the baby with us since we didn't have any plans to go off and go anywhere. Yeah, I might still go exploring, show you the buffet this morning, see how crazy or not crazy that is, what options are up there. Then after lunchtime, we are doing spa. We are. I'm going to show you what the spa looks like here on, what ship are we on? Seashore? MSC Seashore. <laughs> <laughs> still Good. foggy. Too many other ships in the background in yep. your mind? <laughs> so, so we'll do that and then we'll uh, see what else we find today. Yeah. So let's go. Let's do it. There we go. A little proof that we're on baby duty. There's a stroller in my cabin. That's never happened before. We are playing Journey of the Secret Word once again. In this video, you're looking for one of seven letters for this vlog series. We are excited to announce that Level 8 will be rewarding the winner with a piece of luggage. Good luck, everybody. Made it up to the buffet on time. 11.30 is actually pretty late to serve breakfast. Off we go. I'm finding some food. I've got some omelets, some bacon, sausage strata with eggs, onions, mozzarella, and scallions. That's interesting. Never seen something like that before. Of course, get your bacon, your roasted Spam casserole, Spam, and the breakfast menu, I've never seen that, and some eggs, and they're cooked pretty good, actually. Waffle strawberry cream cheese bake, baked pear dumplings, French toast, and fluffy pancakes. And here's a baked egg and corned beef skillet, smothered with Swiss cheese. And lastly, looks like, uh, oh, steak and egg nan, caramelized onions, peppers, jack cheese and aioli, so hmm, very interesting selections this morning actually on the buffet. Okay, I tried a few samplings of things and I'm gonna take one for the team this time. Something no other vlogger I've ever seen do. I'm gonna have Spam casserole in the buffet. This is that bacon sauce and strata, that's the Spam casserole. We got a little bit of a pre-made omelet. I do do omelets on demand as well. I didn't show the normal breakfast stuff because I wanted to see all the weird exotic stuff that I wanted to show you, give it a try. Okay, here we go. What do you think? I'm gonna try Spam the first time ever on a cruise ship. Oh my gosh, seriously, you have Spam on your plate? I have Spam on my plate right here. Wanna try some? No. First vlogger eating Spam on a cruise ship. I'm sure of this. Mm. It's actually really good. It's like bologna. Mm. Not sure I'll refine this again. Okay. I've got my tea now after my breakfast. In my breakfast, all those bizarre things were actually really, really good. That like uh, bacon, sausage, cheese, egg strudel thing was like delicious. It was almost like a frittata, what it reminded me of. And the, what else did I have? Oh, I had the spam. spam. The spam was remarkably good. <laughs> I would never ever in my life choose to have spam. But I thought I'd try it today for you. And it was actually a winner. So there you go. See some spam on the menu? I wouldn't steer away from it. <laughs> Mrs. Canuck, she's laughing at me over there. Anyways, breakfast is done. Let's see what we find next. We are doing some exploring up top, deck 18, Long Island Pool. Just as a note, there is no deck 17 on MSC ships. So this is really deck 17, but they call it 18. Much like Carnival Corporation doesn't have a deck 13s. Here we are. Good morning, Mexico. Oh, our sailboat's still there. Our sailboat has not left. Still there. Look at how gorgeous color that See the water, water is. Wow. Don't get Beautiful. anything better than that for color water, but... No kidding. But then, 
Look at the sea of people squeezing into that little spot there. Woo. Look at under the tent there. Holy cow. It looks busy. It looks like it's trying to get a little bit of a shower right now. I'm just going to say, I'm feeling water. I'm going to back up so the camera doesn't get wet. Yeah, it is sprinkling. A little bit of a sun shower going on here. Sprinklies. All roads lead to that little area there. Over the years, we've seen that build up from just a few stores around the perimeter to almost full of stores, and it's really congested now. And okay, let's go exploring and see who's in port with us today. So I already showed you the Sky Princess. Of course, we're here. And I see a TUI symbol over here. Let's go see what TUI ship is here. Hey, we've got Mine Chief Valletta. That is the TUI ship that's in front of us here. I have identified the last ship in port. We have the Harmony of the Seas is next to us. A little Harmony action. A little bit of Tui Mine Sheaf. And then off over here, we see the corner of the Sky Princess. And of course, we are here on the MSC Seashore in Costa Maya. We're going to do a little bit of glass elevator riding. All the way from deck 18 here and down. See. Okay, we are just about done watching our grandchild for the morning. And we're gonna head up to the buffet for lunch and then get down to the spa to see what it's like here on the MSC Seashore. Let's go, lunchtime, find some food. Back to the buffet. Everybody's still in port with us here. Well, no luck so far. I'm gonna keep looking, see if I can find something that's not like this. Found some lunch. I'm gonna go to pizza on MSC. And I think that spinach ravioli and some healthy broccoli. Look at that healthiness right there after the nice. spam breakfast. Good, healthy for you. What do you have? I have a little tilapia. I got some Virginia ham and provolone cheese. I'm gonna put on a little bun, a little fruit, of course some fries, but look at the yummy pizza. Off we go to the spa. Discover a world of relaxing and well-being. That's our attempt for one hour today. We get to relax. Here we go to the spa. Okay, let the one hour begin. I'm not even sure what time it is. How do we know when our hour's done? <laughs> Maybe they'll come get us. <laughs> we'll see. This is like getting away from me again. The third area is where we're heading next. We are inside the sauna now. You see lounger beds are available there. If you're looking for a little cold rain, I think you see it in there. This looks interesting in here. I think we missed this last one called? time. It's called Black Sauna. Black Sauna. In, and there's two different ones. They look identical, oh, but so they look like they're stuff. nice long lounger ones. And over here. Oh, this one says soft sauna. That's a soft sauna. Well, that's, Ooh, I can feel the heat coming from one behind me though. Yeah, Ooh. that felt normal <laughs> to me. I don't know if this one's gonna be different. Oh, this one's definitely hotter. So the first one I opened was not as hot as this one. Oh, you got a bucket in here, Oh, of huh? course, opposed to the uh, cold rain, we have the warm breeze with a bucket. You gonna pull the bucket on you? Uh, no. We have found the Canada room. Look, this one actually has snow in it. And it comes complete with, <laughs> with a, a shovel. snow shovel. You I gotta left... work when you're in here, you gotta <laughs> shovel the snow. I left my snow shovel at home. <laughs> Wow, There's actually look at snow in snow. here. <laughs> Wild. Wow. Huh. Just like at home. Oh, it's kind of nice. I was really hot actually, so this is nice. <laughs> Good, you can stay in shovel. I might stay in here. <laughs> I might to the hot stay tub. in here as opposed to the sauna, guys. <laughs> this is cooling me down. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. I remember that thing over there. I don't know if you do. From the seaside, this is the torture shower or different sprays of different temperature come shooting down from above and hit you. And we got the time, now we know. We were here at one o'clock. I'm looking from one end to the other of the sauna area. We've done it all. Now we need to find our spots to relax. We are in GoPro mode because we are heading into the sauna. But they have these ladles here for putting water in the rocks, I think, so let's try that. If you can't see it, I'm sure you can just hear it. Oh, Mrs. Knack is coming. I'm not sure you can see her either. It's so dark in here. <laughs> I hope we're staying in here for long. I... It's a hot one. I just put some... Yeah, I saw. Okay, I have moved up a level. The higher you get in the sauna, the hotter it gets. Now you know what a time it is? It's time for in the shower. Mr. Knack, put bucket style. Oh, 
cold. I gotta try again. Whew. Whew. It's refreshing after the sauna though. <sighs> Let's go, Mr. Canuck. Hold on, this is cold way. Is there a hot way somewhere? No. <laughs> no, nope. it's the only hot. way. It's the only way. Do it. Oh. How is it? Oh, oh. I can't do it. That's cold. What is it, Eddie? It'll stop when it's supposed to. Oh, you can move to your next one now. Is that one better? This is foggy in here. I can't see. But is it warmer? No. Oh, I thought I thought the second one was warmer or something. It's still cold. Mm -hmm. Oh, time to move. Get in there. Get in there. It's all cold. That's really cold. You gotta get in there. Oh, get in there. Oh, time to move. This one's warm. Is that hot? This one's warm. Oh, there you go. Now you're happy. Uh, it's better. You still can't see, but it's better. It's better. Ah, soothing. Soothing. This is my jam. This one right here. It's hot tub time. Here we go. Hot tub. Hot tub. Different layers. What you drinking? I am drinking some water from their cooler, their lemon and lime, huge water. It's a little dark in here, though. I could go for some windows or something. But it's nice that they have that outdoor area. They have a door outside with a, a one small hot tub, but around 10, 12 chairs and a little area of the spot outdoors. So you can get a little bit of sunlight if you go out and use that side of it. So do you like your hot tub with or without bubbles? I like it without because I find with the bubbles it's too much in my face trying not to get any milk. Good. What do you think? Are you bubbles or no bubbles in the hot tub? Mm -hmm. I'm going to push the button. Here it comes. Here is the outside area that we were talking about. If you're at the spa, you can use all this space here too. Much nicer view from here. Plus there's a hot tub right there. Here there's gotta be a limit to how much of Mr. Black you can look at in a hot tub. It's bubbling. Extra bubbles in this one. Hot bubbles. Okay, we've settled into the outside area of the spa. Mrs. Kamek is looking up some dinner options for tonight. There we are, there's the view. Okay, goodbye. Nice relaxing spa view, we're heading back. Let's take a look at that clock. We got here at one. Ooh. Ooh, it's almost three. <laughs> oh. It's pretty quiet in here let's, though. Let's sneak out. <laughs> very, very quiet. To our defense. We only spent about an hour in the thermal suite area. We actually just went outside to the deck there for the last hour to relax by the hot tub. So we weren't really taking up thermal suite space, if that counts. But yeah, as Mrs. Connect said, there wasn't a lot of people there anyways. Okay, off we go. We're gonna see if we can book something for dinner. We are back in the cabin and we did try to go to a specialty dining called Hola that we had checked the app. And I'll show you right here that if you go to the app, it has the, uh, capabilities to be able to put in a restaurant, put in the time you're looking for, and it'll tell you if there's availability. So we clicked on it, went through, saw that there was six o'clock available at Hola tonight. We thought, perfect, we'll do six o'clock and give it a try. And we just went to the specialty dining desk that books all these things, asked to book six o'clock, and they said there's nothing available till 8.30. So I think that means the app's not working or they block off a bunch of seats for, I'm not sure, Yacht Club or other, they're not sure why, but yeah, the app says, but nothing is there for us to eat. Well, she wouldn't give us a reason why, because I said to yeah. her, on the app, it shows availability at 6 p.m. Can I have that reservation? No, ma'am. 
<laughs> she didn't really say it wasn't available. It was we couldn't have it. No, ma'am. That's all I got. No, ma'am. So, oh well. <laughs> I guess we're keeping that money in our pocket. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's too bad. We wanted to try it because we have heard good things from other, our Patreon members and oh. other other people that have cruised with MSC. The dining frustrations continue. It does. <laughs> on the seashore. <laughs> yeah, it definitely does. Off we go. Time to get ready for dinner soon. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You missed it. I didn't have the camera fast enough, but right before we start getting ready for dinner, Mrs. Canuck was sitting on the balcony facing the Sky Princess. You can never guess what favorite song she heard playing from the other ship across the dock towards us. I said I wasn't even on the Princess ship and I still had to hear that song. Can you believe it? I haven't heard it once on the MSC this week, but parked next to a Princess ship, I heard it. Yep, Neil Diamond blasting from the ship. Sweet Caroline. <laughs> well, Can't get away from it. Mm -hmm. So, failed attempt at getting into Hola. I don't think we're getting in there. It's too bad. Menu looks really good. I think I would enjoy it. Brace mm -hmm. looks decent. Mm -hmm. Can't show it to you because for some reason it's a no. We're not allowed. I thought about trying to make those reservations the very first day and we were just sort of busy running around doing everything else that needed to get done. Um, but, but in saying that, the venue itself, every time we've walked by, has been like quiet with hardly empty. anybody there. It's yeah. been empty. So we thought, no problem getting in there. It's been empty every night. But no, we can't go. <laughs> Not sure why. I, I'm, I'll probably have to walk by and film it at the time I want to have dinner. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> oh, me, sorry. Bless you. Oh, she ran away in her little yellow dress and came back. Did you see that? Okay, so it is four o'clock. It is time to get down for a pre-dinner drink since it looks like we're going to be in our main dining room at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A couple of interesting things in the menu. I might actually have something different. You see me eat a lot of the same food, but I think there's some potential tonight. <laughs> <laughs> She's gone again. <laughs> I think Mrs. Canuck is officially allergic to me. Mm. I think it might be the new hairspray that I just used. Actually, I, was, I seem to be sneezing every time I use this travel size hairspray that I brought with me on this trip. Do you have a third one in you? Mm, no, nope, I think I'm good. <laughs> okay, well, let's go then. Get that drink. We have pushed the button. It's orange, but it looks yellow to you people in my camera. But it's makeup room. Let's go. Tonight's going to the main dining room. Dress is yellow with little, let's go peach colored flowers with some green leaves. Length is a full 15, 16 length, so we can barely see the little shoes. Oh, we're getting a spin. Oh, oh. a little shorter in the front. Oh, oh, getting close to half in the front. A little peach colored purse to match the flowers, I think. Towards the main atrium piazza, shiny spot. Here we are. I have my go-to cocktail drink, Cosmo. You have more Cosmos than I have Caesar salads on a cruise. Do you know this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably true. Yeah. We're still here, as you can see, off behind Mrs. Canuck. Dinner time again. Off we go. Main dining room, Central Park. Okay, this is where the dining adventures happen every night, right here. Dinner menu has arrived. We've got two of them for the table of six this time. And, I'll have the and we got some crab cakes, some mushroom ragu. Oh, what else we have? Pulled pork, tofu. Hmm, what to have, what to have. Will I veer away from the classic favorites? Okay, appetizers arrived. They arrived all at the same time. And I know you're saying Caesar salad again. Quit filming it. But I did get something different. I got the crab cakes. Now, I did get crab cake, but there was an extra one brought to the table for some reason, so I scored and I got two of them. So let's see what's over here. I went with the crab cake, but I also have prosciutto and melon tonight, too. So I did two appetizers. Okay, dinner has arrived, and I am having the pulled pork tonight with the mac and cheese underneath it. And over here... I'm having the steak Diana. With scalloped potatoes. Looks delicious. Scallop potatoes. Mr. Canuck might eat those. My favorite. Okay, dessert. I'm having nothing but a lens cap. And And I am having the strawberry cheesecake. Ooh, I'm in the champagne and wine bar and having a strawberry mojito. Strawberry mojito. Can't even say it. Uh, does your drink package cover that? It doesn't. It's a $2 upcharge for the basic drink package. $2? Oh no. Now I have to work overtime. <laughs> How was your dinner experience tonight? It was very good actually. I really enjoyed it. I'm not a fan of scalloped potatoes, so I was quite willing 
to share those with Mr. Canuck, but everything else was delicious. We are at the abandoned Champagne Bar. Take a look behind me there. This whole bar facility where there nobody ever seems to go because the drink packages aren't covered in the Champagne Bar. So this is not paying an extra $2 to be able to get a drink from here, but lots of space, beautiful spot, just nobody uses it, unfortunately. It's right by the atrium here. Take a look, we got little steel drums going on right below. Here we are at the theater. Tonight is Total Divas. See what is going. Here we are. It's interesting that the Yacht Club members have to sit at the very back of the theater. I prefer the front myself. MSE Productions in Total Divas! I don't need you anymore. Well, we're going to do something we've never done before here in a Cruising Connects vlog, and that is I'm going to come to you from the editing room in the future, not from the ship. We wanted to interrupt because we felt that at this point of the video, as we sat there in the theater and we watched the shows about divas, that it was a shame that there was a true diva on board the ship and she wasn't part of the show, and that is Wendy. We met Wendy on the seaside back in September, and she was phenomenal, and she was given her own diva show in the main theater. We were shocked that she wasn't part of the show. So we decided to take some uh, artistic uh, liberties here, stop the show, and show you the person that likely should have been part of this diva show in the main theater on the seashore. So enjoy a little bit of Wendy. She's amazing. <laughs> What did you think of the show? I really enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed the choice of music. I find they have more modern music than some other cruise ships we've been on, which I appreciate. But I would have liked Wendy to have been in the show. That's all I can say, especially when they were singing Tina Turner. I would have liked them to have brought her in to do a cameo appearance. What do you think? Yeah, I would have to agree that I think the show was a nine, maybe eight out of 10. Could have been a 10 or 11 if Wendy was there because she could really sing some of those songs. We've heard her sing them. And if I get my way in the editing room, you might have already seen some of Wendy's footage and what we could have seen if she was part of that show. So we'll see if I can pull that off. But yeah, not a bad show though. That's three production shows in a row. So yeah, yeah. we like that about it. We like that about it, yeah. We like the we extra do. production shows. So yeah. anyways, we got a little bit of piano here at the lounge. Well, we are on our way back to the cabin. We are getting good at doing stairs after three weeks of cruising, lots of stairs. We're in great shape for the beach, which we might go to tomorrow. Stay tuned, we'll tell you more. 
When you get to the green lights, you know you're at our cabin. Mm -hmm. Either direction, we got green lights. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> we are back. We are back. Yes. Words? Good day. We relaxed for the first part of the day. Oh, wonderful day. We did a little bit of grandma duty, grandpa duty. Today we had the baby for a while, and so that was fun for me and enjoyable. And uh, then in the afternoon we did a little, little us time in the spa. So for me it was the perfect day. I really enjoyed it. I got to spend the morning with the littlest man I love and the afternoon with the biggest man I love. So, evening update. We had dinner in the dining room. We've been talking about the challenges in there. It seems like some of the kinks are getting worked out. Yeah. I feel that uh, dining time was again around an hour 20 or so. That's in my pretty well normal yeah. range for a cruise ship. Yeah, no, it went really well. Food sure. selections, I had a chance to try a couple different things. So I was finding a few more varieties that I could do in my restricted diet. Yeah. Self-imposed restricted diet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then, Caught another show, like we said earlier, three in a row. So that's pretty good. Production shows are yeah. popping, and I think we have another one tomorrow. We do. Or a singer of some sort, yeah. So what the show says for tomorrow is that it is an American Idol finalist. And I don't quite remember the name right now. I know the first name is Michael, but I don't have the last name to give you. Mm. So yeah. So then after the show, we just caught a little bit of the Brooklyn Cafe Lounge. Yeah. We just heard a little bit of jazz in there. and yeah, uh, it was a nice way to kind sort of... of chill night to yeah. end, and a chilly day. Relax. They have very comfy sofas so that we just sort of hung out and and just spent some time with family visiting and so it was wonderful. Yes and so that was Costa Maya. Yes. Even though we didn't get off in Costa Maya we just tied up to it. Yeah well <laughs> I don't know if you've been to Costa Maya as many times as we have and you see as many ships as we did today it's sort of sort of you know, like, eh, I don't need to get off that bad because there's not a whole lot to do there. It's kind of a neat place to see for your first or second, maybe even third time. But at this point for us, it's probably been eight times at least, I would think. So, yeah, we um, enjoy the time on board the ship with a quiet ship. And tomorrow we're going to be somewhere that I think we've been almost been 20 times by now. But the good news is... We, to do. we like it so much. There's so many things to do. We're going to do something tomorrow in Cozumel. Mm -hmm. Kind of you've seen before, but we thought we'd expand on it and do more of it from last time we were there. Sort of on our own this time. Yes, we're doing something on our own. We're going to get a taxi and go off and do a little bit of exploring. We are. And follow us along tomorrow on that. Yeah. For now we're going to get some sleep. We are. We're going a little bit early to bed tonight because we know we've got a bit of an early morning tomorrow in Cozumel to get started. Mm -hmm. So we're calling it there. We are. So have a good night, everybody. We'll see you in the morning mm -hmm. in sunny Cozumel, we hope. Yes, let's hope. <laughs> let's do it. Fingers crossed everything's good for weather. Good night. Good night. <laughs>